Hi there. In the previous lesson, we learned about the MACD or the Moving Average Convergence Divergence. And we also learned a strategy to trade using it. In this lesson, we're going to learn about Bollinger Bands. John Bollinger developed the indicator in about the 1980s. It's a trend-following indicator that measures the volatility of a security using the EMA and its standard deviations. I know that sounds confusing. In normal English, the Bollinger Bands basically are a great way to see market volatility and are overlaid straight over price. So what are Bollinger Bands? This chart of Yes Bank is overlaid with the Bollinger Bands. Those two bands right around price. These bands are created by adding to and subtracting from a securities 20 exponential moving average and its two standard deviations. An upper and a lower band respectively are created. Now you don't need to worry about how this is calculated because most software will do it for you. The two bands, as you can see, envelop the price, making it easier to spot the volatility. The Bollinger Band's graphical plotting of volatility provides a seasoned trader many ways to set up and maximize their trade profitability, especially in option trading. You see, options use volatility quite extensively, and we shall discuss that very soon. However, a new trader should not bother too much about volatility measurement. Instead, buying and selling on the basis of these bands can become your strategy. Let's see how we can do this. Let's explore one simple way that we can use the Bollinger Bands to put up a trade. The premise of the trade is based on the price piercing the upper or the lower band and then quickly reversing. Let's add Bollinger Bands to this nifty chart. Now notice these points. Notice how many times price hit these Bollinger Bands and immediately reversed. Isn't that interesting? If we took a position in the opposite direction, we would have made a profit. However, some points failed to reverse. Look at these ones. It kept going in its previous direction and it's a very frequently occurring pattern. For example, when the market's going up, it touches the Bollinger Band, you expect it to reverse, but it continues moving up. And this is a problem that Bollinger Band traders face all the time. Here is how you can mitigate it and create a better system using a slight tweak, Trade Academy style. Now, before you proceed, make sure you've practiced and understand how to identify swing highs and lows that we explained in the introduction to technical analysis. All set? Let's begin. Now, remember, the reason we are making this tweak is to make sure that once we hit a Bollinger Band, say here, and the market continues to go up, that does not happen. Here's what a traditional setup looks like. When the market pierces the upper Bollinger Band, say this green bar, we expect the market to immediately reverse. Now, as you can see, it did not happen here. But if you look a few steps back, we did touch the lower band and we did reverse upwards. So we could have bought, we could have made money here. But in certain places like here, uh, after we pierce the upper Bollinger Band and we shorted the market, we would have lost money because the market continued to go up. Uh, we can see something similar happening somewhere here as well. Uh, the market pierced it, but it not quite did not really go down there. So what is a way to combat? Here's another place that this has happened. Uh, we pierced the lower Bollinger Band, but if we say bought it, the market continued to fall, we would have lost money. So what is the tweak? It's a very simple tweak. When we touch or pierce any Bollinger Band, you're simply to buy or sell the latest swing high or low. That's it. So let's look at this example. Here you can see that the market touched this lower Bollinger Band. All you have to do is look for the latest swing high and buy it. So in this case, the latest swing high, you have to look on your left, obviously, because this right side of the chart has not happened yet. Uh, you simply buy this swing high over here um, and you did get triggered the next day as soon as the market opened. You would have bought the high of this swing high and you would have continued up. Your target is to be is, is to touch the next uh, Bollinger Band. So we should be here. You would have exited here with a nice, uh, nice profit. Actually, if you measure it, you can see that you would have made a decent amount over here. It's almost four and a half percent. Pretty good. Now, in this case, uh, now that we're touching the upper half of the Bollinger Band, you want a short. Traditionally, you would place a short straight away. 
Uh, but with Art Week, you have to wait for a swing high to break. Uh, sorry, a swing low to break. In this case, the latest swing low is really far is here. So we wait for a swing low to develop and we get one right here, this one. Uh, we have not done anything. We want to short it as soon as it breaks. Uh, the breakdown never happens. We never short. And there's absolutely no trade here. Uh, this is great because we didn't lose any money. Uh, now let's move on. When do you think next did we actually touch the Bollinger Band? Um, that would be here. So we broke the lower side of the Bollinger Band. And your buy is supposed to be the latest swing high. That's here. So you would have bought on this day. And uh, you would have made a small profit because... You exit as soon as you touch the other band. So you would have exited here. Uh, this wouldn't have been a large profit, but fairly decent. Um, this is roughly 1%. After your brokerage, you probably left by probably half percent after all your taxes. Uh, but at least it's not a loss. So let's see here again. Uh, we are touching the upper half of the Bollinger Band. We're looking to short, but we have to wait for a swing low to break. And you can see a swing low right here, actually. This, this red bar low is the swing low and as soon as it breaks i'll change this to a solid line uh, you can see it broke here we shorted it um this is a bit scary because the next two days the market didn't do anything uh, but you keep holding on and this is your target in one two three days it is achieved and you would have made about roughly a little less than two percent on this trade pretty good again repeat rinse and repeat <laughs> we touch the lower side of the bollinger band you look to buy the latest swing high which is here it's pretty far. You keep waiting. A new swing high forms. This is where you buy. Um, and this is actually a very decent profit. From one end to another, this is a 3%. So that this is nifty, of course. If you select some other stock, for example, if I pick Axis Bank uh, or let's say BHEL, you can keep repeating the same strategy amongst um, all of them. But make sure that you at least backtest this. I'll show you quickly. Uh, I like SBI, so I'll show you State Bank of India. Here, I'll just look at this one. This one touched the lower band and we bought the latest swing high, which is here. One thing about SBI is it moves uh, in one direction for a long period of time and then it'll go sideways. So that's how SBI moves. Every stock has its own characteristic. This would have been a 6% move. Remember, indexes, indices rather, don't move that much. Individual stocks will always move much, much faster. Uh, so that's it. That's how you can trade with the Bollinger Band. If you have any questions, queries, or tweaks of your own, we'd love to hear it. Everyone has their own style that they trade with. Probably you have found something better. Share it with us in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next lesson.